Welcome to vMix Tips and Tricks Volume 4. In these videos we like to show you some quick things you may or may not know about vMix. Okay, so in the top left hand corner you'll notice the preset section. Now the preset section will save your vMix production to a vMix production file so that you say you, when you're building it, you're adding cameras and audio and all that kind of stuff, you can save your preset so you can use it later on. So if you click new it will create a new um, vMix production. Open will open up uh, your vMix preset file. Save will um, save your vMix file, or you know you can overwrite one as you as you move along. And last is an auto save that will save your preset every 30 seconds. However, this is meant for emergency use only. Don't ever rely on the the last um, feature here. Basically, it's a last resort in case you know your PC goes down or you have some issues with um, your production in some way. So we're just going to quickly open one up. Now as you can see here, that's just opened up my amazing vMix production. Next of all, one of the cool things about vMix is it allows you to have a full screen display. So I can set up a second monitor easy and, and display it that way. However, maybe you don't have that set up and you quickly want to check a shot. You can click the little monitor button, which will blow it up full screen. And then just click the mouse to turn it off. Another thing that we forgot to mention in the last video about right clicking your input, you can actually set up an overlay. And then if you want that overlay to go full screen, you can just right click it and click it to go back. Another weird feature is being able to change the bar color bar at the top here. So I can change this to any of these colors or create my own color if I wanted to. We've chosen to use orange and green by default in vMix, but you can change these colors to anything that you like. Now finally, you might be wondering why I have all these different colored shots here. Basically, I just want to show an example of how you can create a filter for your camera shot. So basically I just have one shot here, so that it works the same as a camera. And I've just created virtual inputs by right clicking or going to the settings and creating, sorry, creating a virtual input by clicking this button. So I've just created a whole bunch of virtual inputs and then I've gone in and customized each one with its own color filter. So for this one I've gone in and then I've gone to the uh, color adjust section and I've unticked the use source settings. So now I can add my own filter to it. So I've, I've created a black and white one here and I've adjusted some of the color settings. So as you can see, I've added a different tint to these different um, virtual inputs down here. This one's purple, this one's orange. So we can go in here and we can create our own Instagram filters essentially by, you know, changing these levels here, bring them down, you know, changing this, making it look cool. Yeah, so there you have it. So you can create your own different sort of filters for each shot. Now you can also work this with your, your multi-view as well. So I can, you know, set up a virtual input and then you know create a multi-view with a title on it um, and then you could go to the next level of, of creating a multi-view with say a, um, a filter on top of it as well so you can create a we've added an image here with some alpha channel um, so we can then add a, a cool filter over the top too so those are just some ideas on how you can create your own sort of filters within vmix um, so you could have different one shot but that looks totally different in six different ways so thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you have any cool tips you'd like us to share, please let us know and we'll create a video about it.